Hey, who doesn't love fresh vegetables? But the problem is finding the time for a garden or having the space, both of which we are personally limited to. So after countless hours of looking at Pinterest and seeing all the creative ideas that people have, we decided to go with a raised garden. But then we decided let's go with a raised bucket garden. But then we decided let's go with a raised bucket garden that actually is mobile just in case we decide to move it around sometime throughout the year, depending on the season that we're in and depending on what's in those buckets. So if you're interested in learning how we did this, maybe it'll help inspire you in your next project. Maybe you want to do 20 or 30 or 40 buckets. Stick around. I'll show you step by step how we did ours. All right, so we have seen a lot of these on Pinterest and various things like that. So uh, the difference in ours is that we want to make ours mobile. And so we've picked up these at the local store for about $12 a piece and thought we would mount those onto the bottom so that it can be mobile because we feel like that if it's, I mean, who wouldn't want it mobile, right? That way, if you need to, you can move it around the yard. If it's too much shade, it's too much sun, whatever time of the year, depending on what you've got in the buckets. And so we're adding these and that added about $50 to our cost. And so we're taking a two by six, has just a scrap two by six treated a piece of wood. And we've cut those out to mount these onto the bottom. So there we go. The holes are drilled in the buckets. The buckets are in place. The frame is very stable. The rotating wheels are amazing. It makes it so much easier to move around. So now it's time to put some soil and some plants in it. All right, so we got our soil in and we really like tomatoes and peppers. And so that's what we're going with in this. We're going with better bush tomatoes on both sides and we're going with uh, green bell peppers and one red up here on top. But we also like uh, yellow squash and zucchini and cucumbers. And so we're putting those in buckets as well, but not in this. We're actually putting those along the fence so that they can grow up the fence, but we have created a shell to go around it. Uh, so stick around, I'll show you how we did that. So obviously we wanted our cucumbers and our squash and our zucchini to have something to run on, right? We don't really have the space to do it on the ground. Um, we're keeping with the bucket theme. So we decided to use the chain link fence because we're not really using it anyway, right? So it's definitely makes a lot of a lot more space in our backyard. Uh, like I said, remaining in the buckets with all these, but we've made these cool boxes to go around it. Simple, easy to make, just a little bit better than just a black bucket sitting next to the fence. Uh, help protect it, keep it from falling over, things of that nature. And so all we did with this is actually use two by six, two, got a two by six on the bottom, a two by six right here and a two by four all treated. So uh, two by six, two by six, two by four, and you got 16 inches on each of the links. So it's 16 inches square. And then took a one by four treated uh, piece of lumber and uh, just cut that up and, and, you know, put that over the corners to make it look a little bit more decorative. And uh, these are actually 15 inches long. And so it actually works out to where it um, comes out just about perfect with the top of the bucket. Uh, obviously you can make however you want to make it, but uh, this is how we chose and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so hopefully they'll grow and do real well and definitely be protected from anything that would come and knock it over. So there you go. That's our creative solution to not having a lot of space, but still want to do a garden. We love the wheels on it because throughout the year we may want to move it around depending on what's in those buckets because we're in South Carolina and we can pretty much plant something year round. And so hopefully this helps inspire your next project. Thanks for watching.